You've probably heard of El Nino and La Nina, but what exactly are they? To begin, both are part of something called ENSO, which is El Nino Southern Oscillation. They're both natural climate patterns that alter the sea surface temperatures of the Pacific Ocean. They also alternate every two to seven years. El Ninos can last between nine to 12 months and La Ninas can last up to three years. El Nino causes sea surface temperatures to be warmer than normal in the Pacific and La Nina is the opposite, so cooler than normal. Normally the trade winds that actually blow east to west push warm surface waters towards Asia. However, though, in certain years, which could potentially happen this year, trade winds are stronger than usual, causing cooler water to surface in the eastern Pacific Ocean. Brings us to La Nina. During La Nina, the south stays pretty dry and warm, so almost drought conditions in the Pacific northwest of the U.S. and Canada sees heavy rainfall and flooding. What about locally, though, like in New England? There's a little over 50% chance that we could see a weak La Nina. Weak La Nina for New England could bring those cooler than normal temperatures and lots of snow.